Namaste. A few of you have asked me about the mudras and the techniques where our fingers can get flexible to hold the mudras properly in position. So I thought I'll do a quick video to help those who are not flexible enough in their wrist or fingers to, uh, giving them some techniques what you can develop on a daily basis just for a few minutes if you do enough flexing or stretching with the fingers and wrist your mudras should fall in place as it should be so for any Bharatanatya mudras there are a few techniques the rules in place which is the elbows need to be held taut and in place, not dropping or drooping. And then when the elbows are held, shoulder should raise, held in a natural state with all muscles engaged. And when you hold the mudra, it should, the wrist should come up and form an angle of 90 degrees or a L shape and it can't just fall like if it is tripataka it needs that kind of a wrist tension held so that you form an angle whereas the elbow is held tight and the wrist should bend backwards so any mudra for that reason see that that angle should be held so what I see with many beginners is when I ask them to hold the elbow up straight, this drops. When I ask them to make this strong, elbow drops. So there are a few exercises or flexes you can do on a regular basis. Not only dancers, anyone can do it for the wrist and finger movements. So quickly getting into it, the first one is getting your wrist flexible. So if you can start with just taking it down, up. One, two. Maybe about 10 repetitions and then for those who can't get that wrist to completely go down or completely go up, there is another thing to help you which is doing this but stretching it with the help of the other hand like one. If I have to do it here to show you, one, two, three. When holding the whole arm stretched, the tension should be only at the wrist and your other hand is bending this wrist back. The same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one thing. The other one is you can hold a fist which is mushti mudra and stretch your arm and go out the whole arm is stretched like a stick from the shoulder and the movement is coming only from the wrist That's 10 repetitions and you can do exactly the same with the reverse. That will give you the second set. So that's for wrist flexibility. Next comes the finger itself. So, when you hold the basic mudra, which is pataka, 
they need to be all flexed. This is an example. Flexed, bent, the whole, all, each single muscle in the arm, hand, they need to be flexed as this. Then you go tripataka, ardhapataka, kattari muka. Everything is like a firm mudra. So with a few things like chatura or things where we are rolling like shakatam and those things where we are rolling someone in particular has written to me that their finger doesn't just bend in so is there something they can do and this is um, for those people who think their fingers individually are not bending you can develop these things over time it's just holding like that and then trying one finger at a time, folding them like one, two, three, four, five. You can see that all the fingers don't do things individually while others are held. Like maybe thumb can do it, but not. There is slight movement in others, but only with practice you can get flexibility in your fingers and the wrist to have our mudras do perfectly the stances what they need to portray. So hopefully this quick video will help you in just sitting anywhere, watching TV, sitting and chatting. Just get those fingers moving, wrist moving and you will be fine to um, practice and do the mudras beautifully. Hope this helps. See you in my next video. Namaste.